In this video, you'll learn how to initialize fields with default values when a new record is created at runtime. We'll use the built-in row insertion link of the ASPX grid view and handle its init new row event to pre-populate the record's fields. So let's get started. I'll start with an ASP.NET application that has an ASPX grid view control bound to an access data source. The access data source is bound to the employees table of the Northwind sample database. First, I'm going to enable new record insertion on the grid. I select the ASPX grid view control and open its smart tag. I click on the enable inserting checkbox. You can see that a new command column is created and a new link appears for each row. I run the application to demonstrate the default behavior. I click on a new link and a new empty record is created. While this might be the desired case for many scenarios, there may be times that you would want your web application to automatically pre-populate some of the fields with default data. Let's see how to implement the code to do this. I close Internet Explorer and return to Visual Studio. I select the grid and create a new handler for its init new row event. This event is raised when a new row is added to the ASPX grid view. New rows can be added either by clicking the New Command button or calling the Add New Row Client Side method of the grid view at runtime. Within the event handler, I set the value for birthday. For this example, I'll use January 1st, 1970. I'll also set the default value for the title field of the record. Let's use sales representative. And I'm done. I run the application again to see the results. I click on the new command button and you can see that the birthday and title fields are pre-populated with the default values I specified earlier. For more information, please refer to the ASPX Gridview documentation. Thanks for watching, and as always, thank you for choosing DevExpress.